Well, good morning. Oh my golly, what a pretty day this is. So you are viewing this from Windy Hill Kennel in Ohio, Central Ohio to be exact. We're about 35 miles northeast of uh, Columbus, Ohio. So this is Cricket's litter, and I apologize. We are so far behind this week. We have so many puppies going home that it's crazy. We haven't had time to do anything but go home puppies. So today is Cricket's probably the day we're going to wean her. These guys are just a hair over six weeks. They absolutely um, don't need to nurse anymore. They're eating more dog food. I think she's just their, their buddy. Uh, it's a little bit different this morning. We have all the kennels full out in the yard with different puppies playing in different spots in the shade. And these guys are sharing the spotlight this morning with, uh, let's see, these are Nikki's puppies and Mystic's puppies. So we put those two together because uh, Mystic's have not been out here as much. And we knew that the other guys would break them in and teach them how to play. So... Uh, Vanessa did weights for me a couple minutes ago and we're gonna go through here I'm gonna give you current weights on these guys they're gonna be able to start going home on 517 uh, they got their first or I should say they got their six-week puppy shot so that's all done uh, they're current on their wormings and so today's the day that mom's gonna tell them goodbye and so what we do when we wean puppies, uh, we don't just cold turkey take them away. So after this video, but I wanted you to have a chance to see them with their mom. And uh, so after the video, what we're going to do is she is going to down to the kennel. And she'll come back at night tonight uh, to nurse them again if, they, if she needs to. But I honestly think she's dried up. Um, and then these guys will probably be completely weaned by, what is this? This is, I've lost track of days. But anyway, probably by Monday this next week, they will be totally on their own and away from mom. Um, and that'll get cut down shorter and shorter each day anyway that she gets to come back with them. She is a helicopter mom, so she's not going to enjoy not having them with her. When she's, she came out here first this morning, and then she saw me with the laundry basket coming, and she's jumping up and down with joy. This also gets, they have never met other puppies. So this is a good meet and greet day. Uh, look, that great big one is Mystics, and that little tiny one is Winnie's. Or, uh, no, that is Mystics too. The little pink, oh, Merle underneath there. Uh, but yeah, Mystics are so much bigger than Nikki's babies that are out here. But this is kind of a meet and greet day. They've never seen other puppies. Um, that socialization with other puppies will actually probably start tomorrow. And we'll put them in with someone that is their size and their activity level so that they learn. I uh, see Tails wagon over there. That's a good sign. That, that's Mystic's big puppy is making all the noise. She's like, I don't like this. I want to get over there and get them. That's the problem. Mystics are going to be way too big once they get uh, acclimated today. And whoever got that, I know people have been worried about that little tiny one of Mystics. She is a fireball. She takes no crap. So her little quiet demeanor has turned into not so quiet demeanor now. And she's learned to stick up for herself because her sisters and brothers are bigger. All right, so back to Cricket Slither. So what we're going to do, if I could keep you in frame, I'm trying to get my paper in my hand. So the neon green puppy is not sold yet. And um, it is the lighter one out here. It's the one right over here by the fence, the lighter colored one. That's the one that is still available. So uh, the darker one next to that puppy is sold. And so is the little Merle that's down here underneath mom. All right. So let's see, the neon green puppy this morning, which is the light one, is three pounds, 3.4 ounces, microchip is 2192. So if you go to the website at the top, it will say available right above its photo. They're crunched back here in the corner. You can't really see both of them. There's the three of them. All right, the yellow collared puppy is the one that's the little Merle right here underneath me and she is two pounds 
She's uh, her microchip is twenty one ninety five. I gotta switch hands. All right. And the last but not least is the neon orange. It's a little bit darker one in there, and it is two pounds eleven point eight, and it's a male. So and the puppy that's left also um, is a male. But these guys are, um, they were six weeks old on 5-3. And everybody is honestly doing great. Cricket is more or less just their babysitter at this point, so it's time for them to become big boys and a big girl. That little Merle is dying to get in there and play with them. That tail's going 90 mile an hour. Not today, people. Not today. Um... They're eating dry dog food, and I feed free choice. I know if you've listened to many of my videos, you know that I'm a free choice fan. A lot of people don't understand it, and that's understandable because the old-fashioned way was feed them in the morning, feed them at night, only give them that little quarter cup or whatever the bag says. I do not believe in following the bag. Um, your dog may eat like a fly, or it may eat like a lion. It's just like kids. They all have different appetites. And when you feed on a schedule and you only give them limited amounts, they get food aggressive because they're hungry. That's why every time you put that bowl down, they gulp it down because they don't know when their next meal is coming. So they eat it all, even if they don't need that much. So free choice is uh, just a different learning curve. It's basically the dog food stays out all the time. And... When the bowl gets a little bit lower, fill it back up. Uh, they only eat little tiny pieces during the day. They do not eat a lot. So um, people get them home and they'll go, oh, they're not interested in food. No, they're not food driven. Um, like some puppies are food driven and these guys are not. So you're not going to see them like dying for a piece of the kibble when you hand it to them. They could care less. They'll just get a little bit in a little while. <laughs> but it's really your choice it's your preference but on these little guys i would leave them free choice for at least the first 10 days before you decide to change them to a schedule people are worried about house training on a free choice schedule so i heard the other day from a client that her method of, ch of house training a puppy was to buy this little tiny crate that the puppy really only had room to lay down, turn around, and stand up. I think that's cruel. Um, so did she after we visited a little bit. But she thought that's how you would break them to never potty in their kennel. As a puppy, they are going to potty in their kennel. And they've got to learn your routine. So when you take these little guys home, they have a smaller bladder, they have smaller intestines. Um, every time they take a nap and wake up, they're going to piddle. So it is a lot more in and out the door, but, and I don't get up with any dog at night. That's crazy. You just teach their body to get you up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom. Once they learn your schedule, they will quit potting in the kennel as soon as they're old enough to hold it and wait in anticipation of you coming home. So please don't think that your dog has to stop potting in that crate at day one because it's gonna take them at least two and a half weeks to even get to know where they live. Your habits, your smells, don't change your life for this puppy. Don't buy a puppy when as soon as you get out of school, think you're gonna train it and have the best dog in the whole world because when you go back to school, it's gonna revert back to some other way it used to be. Um, they are a creature of habit, so please remember that. Oh, look at this. These two over here are, are playing a game of dare. Nope, she went away. This one was they were jumping at each other through the fence. It was super cute. Um, so these guys are, I'm sure, going to be in tune to go home um, on time because they're eating dog food now. They're playing. They're drinking water. They're really not using mom as a source of nutrition. She is just their pacifier at this point. Um, the quality of milk does downgrade as the puppies get older. Her body will automatically dry up and she'll start growling at them, which she has not done yet because she is like a helicopter mom. But I know Mystic weaned her puppies about five days early. She was nasty. She didn't want anything to do with them. And so she was, she was going to like clean their clock 
So we had to take Mystic away from her babies. Some moms are like that, and some moms will nurse them till they're two years old, I think. But, uh, oh, here they go. These two over here, this little Schnauzer of Mystics, says, I really want to get in there and get a hold of them. Schnauzers are different than Schnoodles. They're more aggressive. They have, they are a terrier. They're a pure 100% terrier. And they're meant to argue and scrap and fight and uh, kill the groundhogs, get the snakes out of your barn, run off intruders. Um, that's just a Schnauzer. But all oh, these guys are like, they're so funny. Anyway. Um, so that's about all I can throw at you for today. I do apologize. It's been a little bit longer than normal. But we have so many going home this week. It's crazy. Saturday, I think there's one trip to the airport, nine clients coming. And it's like, oh, my golly, if we can just get through this weekend. And then I think I have four on Sunday going home. So uh, it's just going to be crazy. So please bear with us. We'll get back on schedule next week. And I'll get you some new pictures next week uh, for the like their six-week picture that I usually put up that is now a couple days behind or a day or so behind. Um, but I'll get you new pictures next week as well as we'll get back on video schedules. So um, have a great week. Also, if you have just stumbled onto us for the first time, if you hit the subscribe button down below the video, it will let you know when we are putting on a new or have put on a new video. We are also getting ready to update the puppies expected litters, which I'm a little behind on. We've already had two litters that I didn't have time to do this week. So next week, the new litters will be on. We do have a couple more litters due in May, and then we're done for the summer. No one's in heat. No one's been bred. We will not have puppies till late fall. Um, it's actually just to give you a time frame. From the day we breed mom till the day they go home is four and a half months approximately. If they're tiny, it may be five months. But normal puppies uh, that go home at eight weeks old it is four and a half months from the day we breed the mother until the day those puppies go home. So that'll kind of give you an idea. If you're looking for something in the fall, um, let me know. Because even if we breed on the 1st of June, if we have anybody doing heat, which I think we have a litter of big schnoodles come, that will be coming. Um, so let's say June, July, August, September, October. So we're uh, middle of October before the next litters would even go home if they're bred the 1st of June. So that just gives you kind of a dateline on that. But anyway, so have a great day. I hope you've enjoyed their videos. I hope you get outside. Aha, Brittany just came out and Cricket says, oh, what is she doing up there? She heard the door. So have a great day and enjoy the nice weather. Talk to you later.